what is up everyone it is a frigid morning and we are going to pick up mr. ant and we are heading to Jersey to pick a couple cars up because it's port day I am filming this before I even released my last port video so we're gonna have a couple port videos back to back with multiple cars I told you guys it was gonna get busy but uh, yeah, we got some cool stuff coming in. And uh, it's like 10 degrees outside right now. So going to the ocean front in New Jersey to pick Japanese cars up. I mean, getting cars is always a highlight, but going to walk around the port and hoping that they start up is not gonna be the highlight of the day. I hope they all start. Um, they're, they're both real low mile cars so hopefully they are good to go hope there's no hiccups or any issues that we run into so me and Ian we're doing some uh, some road trip talking quick and we're talking about U-Hauls we, we got this trailer from U-Haul and uh, thinking about it and they, they rent those 26 foot box trucks big fucking truck and there's no requirements <laughs> to drive them so you could just walk in there it's like some girl 16 years old uh, i want to rent that big box truck and they're like uh do you have a cdl she's like no and they're like don't worry about it you can take this fucking thing drive it all you want take this big rig and drive it down the fucking highway at 100 miles an hour I don't care what kind of requirements you have. Never drove one before, you're gonna learn today. Like, what kind of fucking place is this? You could literally rent a big ass box truck. They're not exactly easy to drive either. If you've never driven a box truck, they're kind of fucking big. They used to rent ATVs and trikes. Back in the 80s, you could rent a trike from U-Haul and jet skis. I wish it was still like that. I've actually seen a U-Haul Honda trike for sale. And uh, it was super cool. It said like rent me on the fenders. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just uh, just a little thought. What do you think, Yeah, have you, you think they should be renting those big cool. trucks to anybody? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. They're pretty <laughs> fucking big. They're pretty fucking stupid drivers. Yeah, I don't know how to drive a box truck. That's okay, you're gonna learn today. You can take this one. <laughs> we are almost there. New York traffic per usual, probably 25 minutes away. What's the uh, countdown say? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And we got the truck with Clown Boy in front of us. How the fuck you doing, Clown Boy? That's a real New York clown. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it. Someone graffitied a clown with a dick face. Look at this. This is pure engineering nightmare. Roads everywhere like a bow tie. <laughs> we are basically here at the port. We're about two miles away, but one road all the way down. We came in through the back way. Is that a prison jail? <laughs> it looks fucking like a jail. Directional facility. Oh, that is a jail. Look at that. But uh, yeah, so we came in through the back way and I actually saved like $24 on tolls. Mm. But uh, it brought us to this one long road that goes all the way to the port. And it looks like we're driving in like Aleppo because <laughs> there's buildings that are bombed out and potholes in the road that are the side, they, they look like bombs got dropped on them. It will, if you drove a Civic on this road, you'll go into it. You will drive into the pothole and never come out. We just passed a prison and uh yeah this is a bad road all right guys we went in the port and we got our cars i know i usually do like a complete reveal outside the car and show you everything but it is just like i don't even know how to describe it hostile conditions outside you can't be outside for more than five minutes without being in pain um it's like negative temperatures with the wind chill and 30 40 mile an hour winds which when you got negative temperatures is just unbearable it's completely unbearable so 
I'm just gonna show you what, what I got. We got a white turbo Pajero Mini, which definitely is gonna need some work. One of those things that, um, they lied heavily. It needs, the clutch is smoked in it. There's no clutch in it whatsoever. I was lucky to get it up on the trailer. That's how bad it was. And I got, so I got one car that needs a lot of work and I got one well-loved car. We got a JDM CRV and it is in very nice shape. I will see you guys on the road and at the shop. Yeah, how are you gonna pay that toll? You're on the wrong side. Oh, you gotta put it in park and reach over. What are you doing here? Oh, he just reached over, no big deal. Making a quick pit stop at Dagnell's favorite spot, the Vince Lombardi rest stop. Dagnell, I know you wish you were here, but this is for you. The only reason we're stopping here is for you, Dagnell. All right, so here we are back at the shop, picking up where we left off the other day when we went to the port. The other day, it was deathly out. It was miserable, negative temperatures, 40 mile an hour winds. It was rough out. It hurt to be outside. And uh, yeah, we just couldn't do anything about it. So me and Aunt did the run. Big thanks to Aunt Cole, he's the man. And uh, we got done what we had to get done, but uh, it was a, a tough day. So we just unloaded the cars and hightailed it out of here. So now we're gonna actually check these things out because I still haven't really. So we're gonna start off with this Pajero Mini, which so far is a failure. We got one good truck out of this and we got one not so good truck out of this. Here is the Pajero, which this thing was mint in the pictures. And obviously it is not. We got a tiny rust bubble coming through. Gonna have to fix that. We got a dent on the side. That's great. Broken glove box. Interior doesn't look too bad. No floor mats, those are gone. The door cards aren't in too bad shape. I mean, the truck itself isn't terrible. Tires, smoked. Absolutely smoked. But rust-wise, it looks pretty clean. I'm actually really surprised it has a tiny little bubble right there. That you don't usually rust like that. Front end looks okay. And it does run pretty good. However, clutch, gone. There's no clutch in this thing. It's like naughty. It's not even drivable. That's how bad the clutch is. It will barely move just to get it on and off a trailer. But uh, just pure slippage, that's all it does. The clutch just slips. I had higher hopes for this. We got a broken fuel latch. Doesn't look like the little thing even pops out. We have to figure out what's going on there. It wasn't like that in the pictures. And the biggest thing that happened to this is we were pulling it off the trailer, battery's completely dead, 40 mile an hour winds, negative 10 outside, and the trailer's really, really tight. So there's like maybe a half inch in between both sides. So I won't be using the U-Haul six by 12 again because of this. It caught the fender and fucking destroyed it. So now the fender is ruined as well on top of all these other issues. I mean, I'll be able to bend it back and it's, to it's fixable. But like I totally didn't want to do body work to this. And now it's going to need body work on top of all the other crap that's wrong with it. So this is going to be a little bit of a project bringing it back. I thought about parting it out. But it's still not a bad rig. It's still a nice little truck. So we're going to put a clutch in it. Going to fix the fender. Now I'm going to fix the quarter panel because there's a little rust bubble there. We'll fix that too. Fix the rocker on the other side, put some wheels on it because we have the um, rally art wheels for it already. We already have those. And then we will uh, make this good again because it does run good. 
we're gonna make it a good little truck again but this one it turned into a little bit of a project every other mini i've gotten was good right off the boat this one not so much and i've paid around the same for all of them but i mean that just kind of shows you where this market is heading i used to be able to buy a really nice truck for what i paid for this and now this is what they're sending over so when we got to the port this strap was on the front of it and that's never a good sign whenever you get a car with a strap on the front it means trouble usually um in this case it wasn't actually that bad considering all it was was it was out of gas put some gas in it it fired right up and then as i go to take off you realize the clutch is smoked but is what it is with this one this one i'm going to chalk up to a 50 50 fail it's not really a hundred percent fail because we're going to turn it into a cool little machine you can't win on all of them so the gem of this port run is this we picked up a 96 honda crv and if you guys remember when i went to new york with dj we picked up a 2001 crv and that one is a five speed so the reason why i had picked up that red one was for the five speed swap for this one that was coming in so we are going to make this one a five speed truck maybe do a little off-roading with it came with this sweet front end this is factory option in japan and this truck was a score such a score like you never know what you're going to get coming out of japan you can get something like that or you can get something like this i got this for a really good deal and i'm going to tell you a little bit about it right now it came with a stack a complete stack of maintenance records i'm assuming from the looks of it this is a one owner truck someone had bought this brand new it was bought at tokyo chu and it was serviced there its entire life it came with all the service records from 2000 kilometers all the way up to it has 80 that's another thing this thing is super super low mile for a 96 83,000 kilometers so 83,000 kilometers is equivalent to about 51,000 miles so this is a 96 with 51,000 miles and we know it hasn't been tampered with because I have all the paperwork and dates at, from the dealership that it was bought at that's awesome a lot of time these trucks don't come with that stuff so from I the night I picked this up I did a little bit of um, research obviously looking at all the paperwork and the books and everything that came with it and I used Google Translate and the amount of maintenance they did on this truck is mind-blowing they did every single fluid every single year brake fluid flush every year trans flush every year not that the trans staying in it everything coolant flushes spark plugs on time timing belt on time everything was done per honda specifications on this truck so whoever had this loved it they bought it new and they just took care of it and loved the truck underneath is spotless i mean you really can't beat it dj went and bought that ek and i bought this right afterwards just because he wanted to be a honda guy and i kind of copied him a little bit so i bought a silver honda but i didn't want to do a front wheel drive i'm just not a front wheel drive guy so we went all wheel drive and this is what we got and i am so happy with it so we're gonna spend a little more time doing a little showing on this we're not gonna get too deep into it because i already bought some parts for it and uh, we're gonna put those on in another video probably the next video but we're gonna give you a quick rundown on this one i'm not gonna concentrate too much on the pajero today because i'm kind of bitter about it and also i mean we got work to do on it now so it is what it is but do a little rundown this i am going to clean it up a little bit the chrome is flaking a little bit one little flaw factory option piaa front brush guard this is the mid-tier one there's three different ones there's um a simple one without the hoop and without the lights there's this one with the lights from the factory and then there's a third one that's this plus it adds side 
hoops in another set of PIA lights in front on the sides, which is awesome. I would love to upgrade it to that if I could find the parts, but we will see. We got the two sets of keys. We have the original Honda metal key, and then it came with the actual key with the button. I replaced the battery in this, but I have yet to get it to work. I'm gonna start checking fuses and stuff at a later date. We'll try and get this to work because I really wanted to, but as of right now, it does not work. It did come with the factory option monsoon covers, which are massive and they look great. Factory privacy windows. So this isn't a tint somebody put on. This is actually factory tinted glass. You can't take it off. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the US specs were not available with that glass. And it also had like these bumper guards all the way around the doors. That's what you see on here. I, I used a heat gun and peeled them off and sprayed some crap. That's why this comes off. Just looks like crap right now. And the two-sided tape I still have to get off. It's being a real pain though. But uh, bear with me. It will get cleaned up. Uh, I put the spare tire cover on. I had bought this previous. It had a generic one on there. Probably, like I said, privacy glass in the back only rust on this whole truck is this tiny little piece right here but we are going to take care of that before it spreads anywhere underneath the truck is spotless and i'll show you the engine bay in a second let's move to the inside it had three sets of mats in it to cover up the factory mats so they wouldn't get damaged so factory mats on the bottom another set of fabric mats on top of those and then a like a weather tech style mat on top of those so three sets of mats they really didn't want the inside of this truck getting dirty but i took those out these are the nice condition factory mats i haven't washed anything yet the seats are in very good condition has a nice momo wheel already in it which is kind of strange but i approve and lots of jdm goodies in here so it's got this cool gps setup that still works factory option gather cd player but the cd player portion doesn't turn on so i'm gonna have to check that maybe pop it out see if there's a fuse behind it check the fuse panel we'll get to that and also this is factory option me and aunt were looking at this ended up being factory option um like a sunglasses holder and you could put other stuff in here but yeah it's honda access factory option stuff the JDM CRVs have a grab handle that goes all the way back, which is cool. And I just have some stuff in the back. Um, you'll see that on a later video that's parts for this. We have a toll reader down there and a radar detector and all that stuff works. And you can see 83,000 original kilometers. So, this was a good buy. You win some and you lose some. This one was a winner. Unfortunately, the Pijero was not this time around, but we'll make it into a winner. Let's check all these gadgets out. Hello, this. <laughs> they talk so much. And then we have our little GPS setup. And uh, I think we're going to keep all the stuff in here. It's just cool stuff that was in it. And uh, I think it will stay. So since we are doing a five-speed swap to this, um, I didn't realize it, but I am going to have to get a couple more parts from Japan that won't work out of the O1. One being the center console itself is kind of aimed towards the driver so the one in that car kind of shifts over to the pass the driver side in the u.s but it would be the passenger side in this truck so i need the jdm one that faces towards me bends towards me however you want to put it so that's one of the parts i need another part is the axle but i think i can get by that we'll we'll talk about that later in another video though being an early jdm truck it has a glove box on top instead of an airbag. So we have two storage com compartments there. And it is also a four lug truck. The US never got a four lug, but uh, the JDMs did. So 96, 97 were four lug over there. Four by 114, 
makes it nice and hard to find wheels for it. On top of that, the wheel bearings are different. The brakes are different and uh, axles are different. So kudos to that, that's great. Now I just wanna show you guys how clean this engine bay is. It is actually remarkable for being 27 years old now, this truck. It's just so clean. There's no surface rust on all this stuff. The bolts are all nice. I haven't cleaned it at all. Just a very clean and tidy engine bay for being as old as it is. You can tell this truck wears its original paint and it wasn't messed with. It was probably an older person that owned this truck and uh, they just took care of it. It was a taking care of truck that was driven every day. And actually not even every day with 50,000 miles in 27 years. Doesn't seem like it was driven all that much. The JDM Hondas always have this blue plate, which looks super cool. You know, it's authentic. We're gonna clean up the headlights a little bit. We'll do that in a video. But uh, yeah, that is basically it, guys. Wanted to show you guys the cars we got, a little bit of the plans we got going forward. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry the weather wasn't holding up the other day. It was trash, the weather though. We have a bit of a JDM dealer lot going on right now which is absolutely insane uh, i mean let's look around right hand drive 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 we have a lot of cars right now so we're gonna have to do something about it we're gonna fix a couple of them up and sell them but uh we're like, most of them are staying let me know which ones you guys think I should let go and what ones are definitely staying because uh, we got to do something. We have too many cars here. I need to concentrate on some more of these projects. I need to get more cars to get in, fix up, and sell. Um, I need to make some money. You know the deal, guys. Give me a follow. It's going to help. Give me a like. That's going to help our alg algorithm as well. We need to get these videos out a little more. Um, we have a lot of cars we're working on. There's something here for everybody. So we're gonna try and grow this year. Help me grow guys, I'm asking you. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know which car should go, which car should stay. Your opinion on the cars, what we should do with these things, what way the project should go. And uh, stay tuned because we have a lot more coming up. We still have more cars coming too. Forgot to mention that and they're on the ship. So, see you guys soon. On to the next one. Bye.